Okay, so here we have, they say in the accompanying diagram, an isosceles trapezoid, and that's trapezoid A, B, C, D. So if you follow the letters, A to B, C to D, this is our isosceles trapezoid, and isosceles refers to two equal sides. Now, B, C is 7, and A, D is 19. So this means, of course, that those two sides are not equal, which means these two sides are equal, whatever they are. And we're also told that the perimeter, right, it of this trapezoid is what? Well, it says the perimeter is 46 centimeters. Okay, what is the number of square centimeters and the area of the trapezoid? So, whatever we did to find this perimeter, we would have had to add 7 plus 19 plus an unknown side and then plus another I'll write, I'll write, um, let's just write C for side. Um, I know you don't spell side with C, but it's easier for, to read. So we're saying here that the perimeter is equal to 7 and 19, and then two unknowns, and that equaled 46. So here, 2C, two, two or C plus C is 2C, plus 7 and 19 is 26. That equals 46. Now we can solve for C. So I subtract 26 from both sides. Right, this is 0, and 2c is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 2. Cancels out here, and c equals 10. So the two unknown side lengths are 10, and 10, 20, 39, plus 7 is 46 centimeters. That is the perimeter, and that worked. So we want to know what is the number of square centimeters in the area, or what is the area of the trapezoid. Well, um, what you need to know now is the height. So we can drop a line or an altitude down from a point, and this means we're saying, oh, well, this is the line that's perpendicular um, to the base, AD. Now, we can do the same thing here as well, by the way. Drop two altitudes down, and my drawing's a little bit off, but now here the idea is that if this whole length down here is 19, we drop these two lines, and that means that this distance is 7, and what remains from here to here and here to here accounts for the rest that we need to get to 19. So basically, we start with 19. That's our base. And now we're saying, oh, drop these two altitudes down, and this little chunk right here, right, this is 7. These are 7 apart. That's just coming from this segment up here. So now what's left is 7 less than 19. Um, however, right, what I think of is, okay, well, you had 19. And I want to know how long are these two pieces right here. Well, first of all, these two pieces are going to be equal because um, right, we're equally splitting um, the bottom line segment. We've taken out the 7, and what's left is 12. So then 12 divided by 2 is the length of x, or each segment. And x, each x is equal to 6. We can combine that into one statement, 19 minus 7 divided by 2, that equals x. So x is equal to 6 here and 6 there. And that's actually helpful now because now we can find the height. We have right triangles with a short leg of 6, an unknown longer leg, and, but we do know the hypotenuse. So 6 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared, the hypotenuse squared, equals 100, b squared plus 36, subtract 36 from both sides, and b, uh, b squared equals what? Well, that's that's 64. So then b equals 8, take the square roots, right? So here, the height is equal to 8, and you might have recognized this as a, as a 3, 4, 5 triplet. 3, 4, 5 is the original triplet in, this, in a sense, and here we doubled each to get 6, 8, 10, in this right triangle. Needless to say, now we can find the area because base 1 is equal to 7 and base 2 is equal to 19 and the height is equal to 8. So plugging this in, we get 7 plus 19, right, times 8 over 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4 and now 7 and 19 it's 26 times 4, right? That's 80 plus 24, or 104 
square units is the area of this trapezoid. All right, hope that helped.